In this video, we will discuss a brilliant question based on probability distribution. It's a practical application. I hope the solution of this question will help you understand the topic. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Let us understand the concepts and enjoy the journey of success. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me thank all the subscribers and viewers for taking keen interest in my channel. Here is a brilliant question posted by one of our subscribers. And as always, I am trying to make an attempt to solve this particular question for you. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. This question relates to probability density and expectations. The question here is, having a chipped tooth can be a nuisance and possibly painful. Choice for repair can include long-term fixes such as crown or short-term fixes such as bonding of a composite material to match the tooth shape and color. Suppose the time to failure in years of the bonding of a particular composite material is denoted by y and has probability density function fy equals to c over y plus 2 to the power of 4 for y greater than or equal to 0 where c is greater than 0 is a constant. A. Find the value of c so that f of y is a valid probability density function. B. What is the probability of the bonding lasting more than two years? C. What is the expected time to failure of the bonding? D. Would you undergo this bonding as a treatment option for a chipping tooth? Excellent question. Amazing word problem. And I really thank the subscriber for posting this beautiful question to us. Now let's try to understand how can we really solve it. What are we given? We are given probability density function c a constant over y plus 2 to the power of 4. Now for this to be valid, what should be the value of c that is part a? Find the value of c for this function to be a valid density function. And after that, we need to find the probability of bonding lasting more than two years. Y is in years, right? And then what is the expected time of failure for the bonding and do we need this bonding? Brilliant. Okay, so let's try to answer this. Part A. We are given this function, which is f of y equals to c over y plus 2 to the power of 4. Now, what is the condition that it is a valid probability density function? So, I hope that should not be very difficult. I'd like you to pause the video and then answer this particular question, right? So, we are giving, we know that probability density function given to us is f of y equals to some constant c over y plus 2 to the power of 4. So, the area under the graph should be 1. It should be that is what it is, right? So, basically, for this to be a valid function, we need to figure out what is the integral from 0 to infinity of this probability distribution function and that should be equated to 1. Is that clear to you? So, that is the basic criteria. So, if you do this integral and equate it to 1, you should get your solution. So, let me rewrite this with the function given to us. 
vector c over y plus 2 to the power of 4 dy. Correct. So, let us find this integral using the basic rule and uh, limits from 0 to infinity. So, the rule is as you know n plus 1 will be the power and then divide by n plus 1 and that gives you this function as minus c over 3 times minus 4, right? So, minus 4 plus 1 will be minus 3, correct? So, we get y plus 2 to the power of 3 and let us evaluate this from 0 to infinity equating to 1. Is that clear to you? So, that is how we will actually proceed. Now, if I substitute infinity, 1 over infinity will be 0 and so we get minus 0 plus when I substitute 0 here, in that case, I get uh, 0 here, I get c over uh, all this, correct? So, that gives me c over 24 and that is equal to 1, perfect. So, minus becomes positive and so we get c over 24 equals to 1 and that gives you the value of c as equal to 24, correct? So, the constant is equal to 24. Is that clear to you? Perfect. So, that is how we are going to do part 1 of this particular question. So, I like you to have a good look at it and I hope it is absolutely clear. So, let us move on to the second part which is what is the probability of bonding lasting more than 2 years. So, so we have written here, we replace c with 24 and so we have the function which is f of y that is probability pdf distributive function given to us. We just evaluated the value of c as 24, right? Now, it says what is the probability of the bonding lasting more than 2 years? In that case, we need to integrate it from 2 to infinity, right? So, so the probability for this to last more than 2 years means this, right? So, that is what it is. Basically, the limit will be from here to infinity. And so, we will integrate this particular function from 2 to infinity. And now, we have 24 over y plus 2 to the power of 4 dy, right? So, so that is what we get and differentiating this which we already had differentiated earlier, substituting the value in that particular function, what do we get? We get this value as, uh, let us redo it. So, we get instead of c, let me write uh, 24 this time and so, we get minus. So, 24 over 3 y plus 2 q from 2 to infinity. Okay. So, that is what you have now. So, when you substitute this value, we get this as equal to substituting infinity as you know will give you 0. So, we have minus 0 plus substituting 0. We get uh, here uh, let me write this as uh, 2 plus 4 to the power of 3, right? So, let us write this. 24 over 3 times 4 cube. Okay, correct. So, that is what we get and now we can simplify this particular answer, use calculator, evaluate. So, what you get here is 0 0.125. So, that is what we get is the probability of bonding lasting more than 2 years, correct? So, so that becomes the answer which is uh, hardly 12.5 percent, pretty low, right? Now, let us look into part C of this particular question. 
which is what is the expected time to failure of the bonding now failure expected time we want so let's say expected time e for y is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity so we'll multiply the function f of y times y right so let's say y times f of y dy which is from 0 to infinity uh, 24 y over y plus 2 to the power of 4 so to integrate this particular function we can do a partial factoring and that will help us to integrate this part right so we can write this as so let's do partial factoring and then we can actually integrate so let's take this up separately so we have uh, 24y over y plus 2 to the power of 4 we could write this as a over y plus 2 q plus b over y plus 2 to the power of 4 right so that gives me a times y plus 2 plus b over y plus 2 to the power of 4 and now a times y should be 24y correct so we have a y equals to 24y and that gives you the value of a as 24 correct as far as b is concerned we can find 2a the constant part is equal to 0 so that gives you b as minus uh, 2a right so minus 2a so that is uh, minus 48 correct so that is how you could partial factorize this and now we'll rewrite this in terms of these partial factors and then calculate the expected value is that okay so the expected value can be the integral from 0 to infinity of a over a was 24 for us right so so we have 24 over y plus 2 to the power of 3 uh, dy let's combine them right so plus rather minus 48 right 2 times b so minus 48 over y plus 2 to the power of 4 let's write like this dy so that is the integral so that is the integral which you need to calculate so you can now uh, calculate this this gives you the value as minus uh, 12 half of 24 right over y plus 2 whole square and that negative becomes positive one third of 48 which is 16 over y plus 2 q and from 0 to infinity correct so that gives you when you plug in infinity you get 0 here and then when you plug in 0 you get 12 uh, divided by 4 which is 3 minus 2 and that is basically 1 e So, the expected time to failure of the bonding is one year, right? So, that's it. Correct. So, this uh, cosmetic thing will only last for a year. So, that leads us to the answer of part C and D is would you undergo this bonding as a treatment option for a rich tooth well if you could afford it every year then sure otherwise normally no right since it will last 
only for a year. Correct? That is the expected value for it to last. You see that. So, that is how you can actually solve this particular question. So, what we did was probability density function over the period should be 1 and therefore we got the value of c as 24 and from there we actually answered rest of the questions. So, I hope the concepts are absolutely clear. Let me once again thank the subscribers for taking keen interest in posting brilliant question along with some suggestions. In case you want to have private classes with me, you can always send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.